Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning into our video. In this video, we will look at the dual active bridge demo model. This Plex demo model shows a high frequency dual active bridge DC to DC converter with a thermal model for all MOSFETs. The system converts an input voltage of 95 volts DC to an output voltage of 380 volts DC with the devices in both bridges switching at a frequency of 250 kilohertz. A key component of this topology is the high frequency transformer which is implemented as a configurable subsystem with two options. One is an ideal electrical model and the other a more detailed version that models the saturation behavior of the transformer using the Plex magnetic domain. The parameters of the magnetic model are directly related to the geometry and material characteristics of the core which in most cases can be obtained from data sheets. Additionally, we included the thermal behavior of separate wolf speed silicon carbide MOSFETs for the primary and secondary side bridges. And finally, there is the ability to simulate a step change in load from 1 kilowatt to 2 kilowatts. All parameters for the model are defined in the model initialization parameters accessible via the simulation menu. Here, using octave language syntax, all values are specified as well as the corresponding MOSFET thermal description file names. With Plex block set, the same code is included in the init function of the Simulink model's callbacks. The two legs of both full bridges are driven with complementary square wave pulses. Power flow in the dual active bridge can be directed by phase shifting the pulses of one bridge with respect to the other using phase shift modulation that varies based on feedback measurements. The controller directs power between the two DC buses such that the leading bridge delivers power to the lagging bridge. The applied square waves to the bridges create a voltage differential across the energy transfer inductance, which in this case is represented by the leakage inductance of the transformer. An output reference voltage is passed to the controller subsystem, which uses the measured output voltage to generate an error signal. This is then fed through a digital PI regulator represented by a discrete transfer function to generate the phase shift ratio for the PWM modulator. If you look under the mask of the PWM subsystem, you will see that this logic is built up from primitive blocks in the Plex controls library. If you double click on any of the MOSFETs, we see that a custom masked subsystem is used to implement the various electrical and thermal parameters. To visualize the thermal descriptions of semiconductors that are inside masked subsystems, the easier way is to do so via the thermal library browser accessible from the window menu. Thermal description files for Plex for WolfSpeed's devices are available from their website. More information on accessing and setting up thermal descriptions can be found in the Plex user manual and tutorials on the Plexim website. The simulation shows two load conditions with different power outputs. At the start of the simulation, the output power drawn by the load is 1 kilowatt. A load step then doubles the output power to 2 kilowatts. The scopes display various electrical signals, calculated losses and temperatures, and an XY plot component shows the BH loop for the saturation effect of the core when using the magnetic version of the transformer. This concludes the video on the dual active bridge demo model. For more videos and further information, please visit our website at www.plexim.com. Thanks for watching.